Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the next topic is the Nyquist plot. So we are discuss so many plots. The plots are the first is the we will go reverse manner. The first is border plot, and we are discussing the root locus and stability stability of the system and masses gain formula and block diagrams so in this border plots is also border plot is important and after the border plot and we discuss the another thing here before that this is the polar plot we discussed about the polar plot also the extension of the polar plot is nothing but the Nyquist plot if we are extending the polar plot we will get the Nyquist plot here so here by taking the inputs from the polar plot we will construct the Nyquist plot simply so first what is the purpose first point to draw the complete frequency response of the open loop transfer function so in case of polar plot so just we remove it in polar plot generally we are discussing about magnitude and phase for omega equal 0 to omega equal infinite only this is omega equal to 0 to and omega equal infinite we are discussing about the frequency response for this these two conditions only but here it give complete frequency response complete frequency response means look at here here the frequency 0 plus and 0 minus that means before after the 0 and this is before 0 and with that it is plus infinite and the minus infinite that means it is after infinite infinite frequency and it is after before the infinite frequency so the complete response will be discussed in this Nyquist plot look at here but the polar plot directly we are taken only for frequency equal 0 and frequency equal infinite here before 0 and after 0 before infinite after infinite also we will discuss the frequency response that's why it is called complete frequency response complete frequency response next to find number of closed loop poles in the right half of s plane so generally we have in s plane if it is useful for find out the closed loop poles sometimes poles may be like this here this is left side of the s plane this is the right side of the s plane and this plot will give the number of for example in this right side of s plane we have the three poles so the number without drawing the frequency response we will get directly the number of closed loop poles in the right half of s plane will be we will get from using this Nyquist plot and next range of k values for closed loop stability so here we discussed in the root locus also the same point so in order to maintain the stability so what is the range of the values it will give the k values for which k values the system will have maintain the stability that will give the range of k values for the closed loop stability okay so we will find out number of closed loop loop poles as well as range of k values next next point to find the relative stability generally you know the stable what is the meaning of stability stability is simply whenever bounded input is given to the system if it generate generates the bounded output then the system has stability if if it is not possible that condition then the system is unstable system what is relative stability relative stability means a particular pole a particularly pole a particular zero we will check the stability and we will take some pole at that pole we will check the stability we will take some zero at that point we will check the stability that will give the relative stability okay right next fifth point Nyquist plot is developed by using mathematical principle that is principle of principle of argument that is principle of arguments okay 
so by using the in our mathematics we have very important concept that is the principle of arguments by using that principle of arguments concepts nyquist plot is designed okay so this is the main purpose of the nyquist plot what is the first point the first point is it will give complete frequency response and second it will give number of closed loop poles in right half of a spline third range of k values for the system stability and it will give the relative stability and it will give so it will be developed by a principle of arguments so by you this is the main purpose of the nyquist plot and what, what is the principle of arguments now we will discuss what is the principle of arguments if p poles and z zeros are enclosed by the random selected path in the s plane so this is the s plane for example this is assume that this is the s plane and if p poles so assume here we have some poles and z zeros we have some zeros are enclosed by random selected path of the s plane so this is the random selected path of the s plane then corresponding gh of s plane is encircled by the origin by p minus z times if it has some encircled if it is encircled like this if the encircle the encirclements the number of poles and number of zeros will decides encirclements of the encirclements by the origin encirclements by the origin by the pz times so look at here for example and we have for example we have selected a random path it has for example in this path we have the two poles and zeros are the one we will find out the encirclements equal to two minus one that is encirclements equal to one so what it what it gives it gives a and the plane is encircled by the origin by pz times this is now n is 1 means what it shows it gives encirclements it gives encirclements is 1 encirclements means the origin is circled the origin is circled by one time then the origin is circled by one time like this so this have the some direction it will circuit so this is called the encirclements okay so in a particular closed path number of poles and number of zeros we have if we are doing poles minus zeros we will get the encirclements this encirclements will give will give by the origin will give by the origin okay so these encirclements are useful in finding the and uh, these poles and zeros will be useful in finding the encirclements right if p poles is enclosed then there is change in the direction while mapping so we should do some mapping when p is enclosed for example pole are enclosed then there is change in the direction direction will be changed if z is enclosed if it has a z is enclosed then there is no change in direction then there is no change in direction okay yeah so p and z will also will give some direction right encirclement notation so here we have the encirclement notation first we have positive encirclements have the positive notation then it has anti clockwise direction encirclements have anti clockwise direction look at here here n equal to 1 then the direction is like this we have encirclement the direction is positive side this is the positive side okay so and if it is for example if the number of poles is 1 and number of zeros is 2 then the encirclement is 1 minus 2 if it have the minus 1 then automatically the direction will be varied the direction will be varied like this that means 
it is positive direction and this is the anti clockwise then the direction will become the clockwise direction so this is the clockwise direction yes if the negative in the negative then it is as the clockwise direction okay so note we should note one point that is principle of argument is applied to the right plane of the selected path so always we should apply we should take right plane of the selected closed path okay the selected total right of s plane is called nyquist counter so whenever we are selecting total right side of s plane then it is called the nyquist counter okay then it is called the nyquist counter okay yes this is one of the important note okay here the principle of arguments is nothing but when a closed path consisting of the number of poles and zeros that poles and zeros will de decides the encirclements the encirclements equal poles minus zero if the encirclement have the positive then it has the anti clockwise path so this is the anti clockwise path if encirclement is the negative it has the clockwise path yes okay so principle of argument applied only right plane of the selected path we should select some path that will be applied to the only right plane is called nyquist counter okay so this is about the some basics of the nyquist nyquist plot okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you